space, 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 ugh. What is up guys, Tom here, and welcome back to another Call of Duty Black Ops 3 video, where it's actually not a Call of Duty Black Ops 3 video, it's actually, uh, we're going to be talking about Infinite Warfare, I think that's like the third time, maybe third or fourth time, uh, on my channel, and obviously I know this video is slightly late, because uh, the Call of Duty, like, trailers and things were released a long time ago, and I did like a, uh, a few video, a couple of videos on the, the trailers, and why they're getting so much hate, and all these kind of things, uh, but now I'm going to be talking about, well, COD in space. How do I feel about Call of Duty being in space? Because we've had Advanced Warfare, we have Black Ops 3, none of them were in space. Uh, they're all futuristic, this is going far, far, far into the future. And it's also going into space. Now, are we going to see floating round in space? Like, that's the one, that's one of the main things that I'm worried about, about this next COD game. If we are literally just floating around in space, shooting each other, I will probably, well, shoot myself. It'll be the most annoying thing, because you won't be able to move, you won't be able to do anything, you'll just be floating around. Now, what I want to say is this, I do not, I do not want any of the maps to be you floating around in space. I'm happy for the maps to be on Earth, to be on other planets, but I don't want, like, certain maps to have, like, no gravity, I want it just, like, Black Ops 3 kind of style. It's not got all these fancy gravity things, so some maps are different to others. It's like boots on the ground most of the time, apart from obviously you have the frost jump type, frost boost, whatever. Uh, so you can run around and not like float off, basically. I do not want the game to be like that. It would be the most annoying thing. So I'm, if the game was like that, I would be not be happy. I would definitely, definitely not be happy at all. Uh, but let's talk about, well, Call of Duty in space. How do I feel about it going that far into the future? Now, people asked for a change. As soon as Advanced Warfare came out, they wanted it to go back to the way it was before. Uh, by the time they people were saying, oh, we don't want this future thing anymore, we don't want it, Black Ops 3 was way into its development. It was close to its launch. Infinite Warfare was also quite a long way into the making of it, which means it's kind of hard for them to go back. So, although people are complaining, it's still going to be a future game. Because obviously, Activision said to all the companies, let's release a future game, a game in the future. Uh, maybe to change things up. The community has been asking for change, so let's give it to them. I think, if I'm honest, they gave us too much change. People asked for change, yes, they listened. They gave us too much change. Like, they made all the free companies all do a space game. They shouldn't have done that. What they should have done is they should have let Advanced Warfare do its thing. Infinity Ward, Treyarch, make a normal boots on the ground card. If the Advanced Warfare took off, then put the more for the future games. They didn't do that. They put all the future games back to back to back. Advanced Warfare, Black Ops 3, Infinite Warfare. Now people are complaining because they've had like an overdose of that kind of future uh, warfare. Now, in my opinion, I'm not too fussed. I'm not. I like Black Ops Three. Black Ops Three is a really, really good game. Uh, I'm not sure about Infinite Warfare because obviously I've not played it, uh, so I'm not sure. Um, but Advanced Warfare was like the movement system wasn't great. It was a bit kind of like over the top. You could jump way too high. Shotguns are the most pointless thing in the world because you couldn't hit anyone with them. Like, it went a bit over the top. Black Ops 3 had a decent balance. Though people jump up in the air a lot and slide a lot, uh, then, like, it, you can't jump anywhere near as high as you could in Advanced Warfare because if you could, and plus wall running, if you're wall running and then you exo jump like you could in Advanced Warfare, you'd be, like, jumping crazily high. Uh, so I don't think you should, like, um, be allowed to jump as high as you could in advanced warfare so infinite warfare i'm happy to be a space i'm happy for it to be a future game i really couldn't like i was gonna say i really couldn't care less but i do kind of care uh but i would enjoy like a space game call of duty hasn't gone to space yet it's call of duty has been in the future twice call of duty is going further into the future but it's going into space that is the thing like, it's been into space, I suppose you could say, before in the Ghost campaign, but that's not really it. 
In Infinite Warfare, most of the game is based around the whole space thing. You can go to other planets. The Call of Duty is going space, pretty much. Um, I think what they're doing is they're trying to appeal to more audiences uh, with this kind of game. Uh, but by doing it, they're kind of annoying some of the old kind of original fans who start playing at World at War, COD 4, maybe even start playing at COD 1. Like, they're kind of like throwing off some of the fans who truly, truly uh, like the old style of Call of Duty. But if they really like Call of Duty so much, then they'll play this kind of game. It's kind of like, I don't want to say it's the future, because it shouldn't be, like, they shouldn't start releasing these types of games forever and ever and ever. If, in my opinion, it probably needs to go back to the way it was. Call of Duty kind of needs a bit of a break. Just to release kind of like a, an original Call of Duty that's well balanced and it's a good game. Uh, just like COD 4 or Modern Warfare 2. Uh, and people start complaining. Give uh, people, like, something that can give Activision a break so people aren't constantly complaining because uh, that's what people want they want it to go back to the way it was you know you could maybe if they were going to do this whole future thing again which I can see them doing don't do it in a set of three like they're doing don't do it Fancy Warfare Black Ops 3 Infinite Warfare don't do it in a set of three do one game if it takes off uh, however I have no idea if it would uh, but if it takes off do two more original Call of Duties then release another future one, or release three normal Call of Duties, then release another one. Like, just kind of space them out a bit, because you don't want an overdose of that kind of new future warfare. But anyway, guys, that is going to be the end of the video here. I hope you've enjoyed this kind of opinion video. Uh, now, if you have enjoyed and you are new, I'd really appreciate it if you could hit that subscribe button. Also, like the video if you have enjoyed. And I've been Tom, guys, and I will see you all in the next one.